Good evening. I'm Scott Binsack. Welcome to my show, Sunday Night with Me. <laughs> um, I started this because I've been through a lot in my life, and I want to share it with others, especially in the relationship department and life department, because I've had one hell of a life, and I'm only 45. Tonight I'm going to talk about insecurity. And insecurity, I believe, is a, a very, very big part of what causes most problems in relationships today. And even with businesses, uh, working, employment, jobs, bosses, CEOs, it doesn't matter. Insecurity is in all of us. And it, it's huge, huge, huge in relationships. I grew up in a uh, small town, uh, Westbury, New York. It's on Long Island. My dad was from one side of the tracks, basically my mom was from the other. My first true girlfriend, uh, my true first love, was a Sicilian girl. And I had a very, very traumatic childhood. And I left home at roughly 16. I was in almost 14 different schools, I think 12 to 14 different schools. I, I don't even remember anymore by the ninth grade. And that wasn't the traumatic, the major traumatic part. But I lived with severe guilt and, and anger, pain for many, many, many years, many years. And it affected everybody around me. And at the same time, it made me who I became very successful at a young age. I turned that that guilt and anger and pain into something very positive. And I've learned now over all these years how to take any bad situation and turn it into good. Thus there are no more bad situations for me. I might get angry once in a while, but it's gone. It's gone fast. So tonight I'm going to talk about insecurity. I can remember this girl that I fell in love with. I met her at a McDonald's drive through in Westbury. It's a famous McDonald's, actually. And she was working there. And we had a great, what I thought was a great relationship. She was a good girl, wonderful person, still is today. However, my insecurities, because I don't trust many people. I still don't trust many people. And that's a product of my growing up as well as other things that I attracted to myself along the way that created people um, hurt me along the way. As I said in other shows, I've hurt others as well. So in this relationship, I would constantly be questioning her and, and checking up on her and not trusting her. Why? Because for me, I wasn't used to having somebody really care about me, truly love me for me. And that's all she did was love me for me. And over time I told her and she knew my family situation and some of the horrible things that happened to me. And she never, she accepted those. And I, I respect her to this day for that. I eventually ended up breaking up with her because I ran away from that situation. I actually pushed her away as well. And I was good at that for a long time. Anytime somebody tried to love me, I would psychologically uh, and unknowingly push them, push them away, because I was like, "That's too good. That's that's that can't be. No one's going to love me." And I started to identify with this problem as the years went on. And insecurity is horrible, 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 horrible. It will affect everything that you do every day especially relationships and it all stems from I believe self-esteem if your self-esteem isn't good and thus love thyself you can't be secure with yourself now I've become a very very confident person over the years but that's from falling down getting up falling down getting up and learning along the way and and understanding and forgiving those who hurt me in my past you must forgive people in your life do not harbor 
any hate or pain. That's the first thing of getting rid of to become a secure person. Always forgive. Always, always forgive. I know that seems never forget, but you must forgive. You must look at the situation, why the person did what they did, and forgive them for your own peace of mind. You must truly forgive them. And it's very simple, believe it or not. Life is very simple, as I've said before. We have all complicated every day in our lives with, with creating things that don't exist. Self-esteem also, um, and insecurity, insecurity is, is fear. And fear is manifested in our brain. It, it really doesn't exist. We create that as a protection mode to protect ourselves from another incident. That's why we don't trust. And that's why we don't follow through with some really good relationships, not just in, in between a man and a woman, but in business, etc. You have to find yourself. You have to Stop being insecure about yourself, whether you're, it doesn't matter what you look like, what race or religion you are, you must be secure within yourself. Or you cannot have a relationship with anybody. And it's something I have to work on still to this day, every day. As I said, I'm not a big trusting person, but I've learned to become, I'm a very, very confident person. I got rid of the ego years ago and become, became confident. And you become confident in yourself by actually achieving small goals and when I don't mean goals everybody hears goals you mean think of business I mean goals and as you said for yourself don't be afraid afraid fear as I said is man manifested in your brain don't be afraid try new things to go on that date not everybody's out to hurt the other person and yes there are people that are and that you have to watch out for but you can't be so closed that you don't move forward and get stuck because we can all get stuck and in the insecure the department when you do meet somebody good you'll end up pushing them away because you're constantly and I, it's horrible with a lot of men and i will say it, it's there with women as well but men are very insecure they'll especially if they have a beautiful woman and they're in a good relationship etc They'll follow them, and I brought this up because I was at the gym the other night, and I watched this guy follow this girl, his girlfriend, all the way around to everything to make sure she didn't look at any guy and do anything. That's trust. He has no trust in this, this woman. And she's just as bad for allowing it to happen. So you have now two insecure people with issues together in a relationship, and what does that create? Drama and a mess. You can't have that. You, you, you're going to go nowhere. They're going to go in a circle the rest of their however long they're together, and then when they break up, they'll find somebody else and attract somebody else. That's just in similar. Always blaming the opposite person. When it sells, it all comes down to us. Everything comes down to us. Everything. It's really not the other person. It's ourselves. It's what we, And that's why you have to become secure with yourself. Find out Face your demons. Face your ghosts. Face your demons that are eating you alive. What it could, it could be anything. Mostly it's, it's, it's past traumas from relationships. It could be the hate of men, women, whatever. Not everybody's bad. But most importantly is you have to be secure with yourself. You have to be, I love thyself. And it really is simple as I'm saying for you to do. Just sit back, look at your life, look at the things that, why you don't trust people, and figure it out. And just simply forgive those, move forward from the past pains, and, and get her done. Because I pushed away a, a, an incredible girl who, you know, obviously God has a reason for everything, I believe. No matter what God you believe in. But everything in life happens for a reason, and I found that out as well. Completely happens for a reason. It's good and the bad. And I welcome the bad. You want to bring bad into my life? No problem. I'll take it as it comes. But once you become secure with thyself, you can conquer the world. You will be happy with yourself. You will then... And if you do have a partner that is insecure and you're not, move on. Get a new partner. 
or try to help them overcome their insecurities. And if they won't face them, because a lot of times a lot of people won't look in the mirror. And it all comes down to looking in the mirror. And we all don't like what we see when we finally look in the mirror. But insecurity is killer in your job, in your personal life. It is, insecurity is horrible. Be secure with whoever you are. No matter what you look like, no matter what your weight, what your color, what your race. Everybody here has a purpose. We all have a purpose. And when I tell you, and I'm going to slowly share things with you about my life, but I had a serious, serious traumatic childhood that abusive. And these people demeaned me, demeaned me. And I apologize for that. That was my computer um, sending a message, and I thought the volume was off. But they, they demeaned me in many, many ways. And I had to live with this guilt and this insecurity for years. And I, I, I pushed so many good people away because of it. And I'm sure a lot of you out there who watch this know what I'm talking about. You'll end up pushing away some really good people. And in the end, it was all manufactured in my brain because of what happened to me. If we can create it, we can get rid of it. So if the brain can create it, the brain can erase it, pretty much, and stick it somewhere else and file it away. And you learn from that. You take the lessons, flip it around, and become secure with yourself, and then you'll see the warning signs the next time so that you're not in a bad relationship or not going to be traumatized by something in your life to thus be hurt again. And then comes the insecurities. You date someone, they dump you, you feel insecure. Or you do something and you push them away and you argue and it doesn't work out. You become insecure. Well, I don't want to try anymore. This one's all the same. Da, 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 da. Not really. you got to stop that. People, you have to stop that. And I know. Believe me, I know. I suffered for years with not trusting people and being an insecure man. I was successful in business. I never had the insecurity in business. Not once. I could somebody tell me, can you build that? I built it. mansions. Doesn't matter. I loved it. Still love it. I was never insecure in my business because I took all that personal insecurities in another field that I could be positive in that doesn't has nothing to do with my personal life. But at the same time, I buried away the pain and the hurt and those feelings from what happened to me. And then what I created along the way. So I say to you, please, try, not try, I don't even like that, I hate that word, get her done, look within yourself, look in the mirror, face the issues, and deal with them, and become a secure person, love yourself, love yourself, and if you're in a relationship with somebody insecure and they won't change, get out of it now, because to live your life under that where are you going? What you doing? Where you are? Da, da, da. Don't go here. Don't hang out with your friends. Don't do this. Don't do that. It's craziness. If you're in a good relationship, you should be able to trust one another and go anywhere that you want. If you want to go out with your friends to a bar, a restaurant, a club, on vacation, doesn't matter. If the other person's secure and you have trust in your relationship, you have it all. No big deal. Have fun. Go have a great time. Have a nice day. That's how I am now. Wonderful. Have a nice day. And if you don't have that and the other your partner's not producing it, but make sure you're secure of yourself first before you go after your partner. You have to become secure yourself and love thyself. But insecurity is serious. And I'm going to talk more about it in, in depth and in detail. Because there's certain traumatic events in one's life that create more insecurities than the other. And I know a lot of people watching this have issues with trust. I mean, I, I just know it. So... Um, Thanks for listening to me. I hope I hope I shed some light on some things. And as I said, as I go along, I'm going to tell you my, my life story here. It's time I do it. I need to do it. I need to tell my story. And there's another site I'm creating. It's actually a website. And I'm going to be telling my story on a new platform that's never been done. I was in the middle of writing a book, and I decided I'm not writing that book best way to tell my life story is to tell you directly. And I'm going to tell you from all the different places I've been in my life. And I've been all over the world. Under very, some great circumstances, some not very great. 
some very serious stuff has happened to me. And I've overcome it. And I want to help others be able to overcome their situation, even if I can help one person. One person. Not have to go through the things I went through. And this is all worth it to me. Have a great night.